Hey everybody, I'm Kyle and I'd like to show off my base in Project Zomboid. So this is what the factory looks like if you were to get there on the first day of a new game. And here we are fast approaching our third winter on my trailer trash run. I am very, very pleased with how the place is turning out now. So before we head on in, let's take a tour around the outside of the base. So first thing you can see, we've cut the forest way, way back and actually even trimmed most of the grass. Um, and oh, look, up ahead is our new gun range. We've just recently installed a mod to let us actually train aiming by shooting at mannequins. So that's kind of fun. Uh, we, we chopped down a whole heap of this forest. And back here we have our hedge maze and our graveyard. Which I think looks really, really splendid. Boy, it takes a lot to move these edges. Like eight encumbrance each. Definitely, definitely get a truck for that. Okay, so over to the next corner. And yep, a lot more of this forest had to be cut back as well. That took a while. And in here we have our athletics track. And it just happens to be where we park our trailers at the moment. And past our athletics track we have our cute little farm. Uh, which we've extended a few times. Uh, speaking about extending the road around the base, you might have noticed there are some extensions to that as well. We can drive in one side of the factory and out the other side. This is the main gate. You had the rear gate as well that we put in. Okay, so inside the factory, yes. Yeah, to start off with, it has cracked walls, dirty walls and floors, graffiti everywhere. Uh, lots of uh, office furniture, really. So we've done our best to plaster the walls, clean the floors with bleach, fix the cracks, uh, and really make the place our own. Some of this loot we had to go to the edge of Louisville to get. It's uh, it's taken us quite a while. Some of these rooms surprisingly came on fairly quickly, like our studio, our little talk show studio. Uh, that's been done for at least a year or so now, whereas other rooms, uh, like the one we're about to go into, uh, have only been finished in the last week or so. Here's, here's our little classroom slash briefing room. The hallways definitely look much brighter and cleaner. And the other downstairs bathroom has now become a salon, hairdresser, barbershop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a new one, but I like it. it. It looks good, useful. So guest bathroom. You know what? We, we probably actually need to focus more on having like more toilets and things in there. But yeah, she'll be right. Okay, so the, the, really the claim to fame for the building is the enormous garage. Uh, you can really make use of that to get a lot done, and we have. You know, we store a bunch of vehicles in here, we work on them, we do a lot of other work in here. So yeah, you'll see we've, we've um, built a, another garage door here and extended the driveway so that you can drive the truck in one side of the base and out the other side because you, you don't want to have to try to turn it around and, and backing it up is a nightmare. It does mean you have to sledgehammer out this wall this railing, but that's manageable. We redid the floor over here, it looks quite nice. There's another new uh, bit, there's our mechanics office. And over here, not as pleased with this room, this is just sort of our workshop where we keep stuff, but I think I could work on that a little bit more. So upstairs leading to the skywalk to the other building, we have our cafe. You can see there's a door there that heads into the building. And across the skywalk, one of our more recent but very large builds, those are the barn. Uh, there are some floors above this one, but that there is nothing in there yet. Another room that went in very early that I'm quite pleased with is our little security room. It would be really cool if you could actually set up security cameras, although I think I would then just sit there and obsessively look at them and watch the empty forest around my base like a bit of a lunatic. Okay, so you'll see that hallway goes into the second story of the base. Most of the second story of this factory is blank space, uh, empty room. So uh, all of this has been sort of reclaimed from the empty space. You've got to be a bit careful when doing that. Okay, so we used to have the guest dorm down the bottom floor, but now we've moved it up here because anyone who lives on the ground floor deserves to be eaten by zombies. I've got a little mess hall. Uh, a mini Spiffo's restaurant. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Haven't decorated that yet by like putting things on the benches and stuff. And our little tailor's workshop as well. 
Uh, the place definitely looks nicer, I think, with the open staircases. It, it um, widens the place up, makes it much brighter, happier looking. Okay, so moving on to the top floor. So we have our big open area here leading off to our private bathroom. Shower, bath, combination, dryer. Yep, lots of useful stuff in there. Uh, less useful is our gym. It used to be on the bottom floor. And honestly, it might get relegated to somewhere less important, but for now, that's where it lives. This might have been our first room that we finished. Uh, this is our command center or our resistance headquarters where Chloe intends to lead the battle against the zombies if she ever had anyone to help her. And I think this has always been our bedroom over here, but it's uh, it wasn't always split into these three bits. The living room, walk-in closet, and then the uh, bedroom itself. Uh, we just recently tried to extend the bedroom a little bit so we can put an air conditioner in, but the, you don't want to try to extend a room uh, definition. It doesn't work well. Okay, kitchen, another one of the early rooms, one that gets a lot of actual use, of course. And the toy room, you know, if there were ever any children. Uh, our solar grid is hiding there, although we've got another like four or five little mini ones around the perimeter and in different spots. Uh, library, another early room. Okay, you have to take a sledgehammer to the place to actually get out onto the roof, uh, but it is a big, big space. Obviously, it makes the North Mulder Warehouse pale in comparison. So this is where we built the first and smaller of our edge mazes, and we've got our bar over there, the crowbar. Um, my plan initially was to make sure that all of our walls were visible from the roof. So uh, from each corner of the roof, you can sort of stretch your vision out and see the walls to... You know, make sure they're secure and there's nothing wandering in my base. That was sort of the idea. That sort of uh, designated how big the base itself was going to be. Uh, you'll notice beyond our farm, there's another forest we chopped down with lots and lots of wood. Um, just sitting in the back of those two trailers. Okay, and our upstairs section is what I call the panic room. Although it's now split in a couple of rooms. Uh, this is our flying fortress. So there are no staircases up here. So that if the game gets crazy and suddenly spawns 50 zombies downstairs... Uh, we can retreat up here to get our little uh, secondary bedroom, our big pantry, and our quite well-stocked armory. I like the big glass windows up front. They look really good. You can look out and make sure it's safe, which it always is, because it's a very, very quiet part of the map. Okay, and here's our primary solar grid up here as well. And again, from here, we can look at the outside of our base, check out our walls, make sure we're secure. You can see the staircase on the top of the barn where we've started drilling up to the top of that building. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the base tour. I'll link the playlist for my Trailer Trash series if you want to see uh, all the events and episodes that led us up to here. So we're about to go into our third winter, um, which is going to be really, really cool. I'm looking forward to it, and hope you have a great day.